næste taler, som også er en tidligere syrisk flygtning, nu dansk syrer. Øh, han er aktiv i Racisme Fri By, øh, men også i den syriske forening. Det var dem, som øh, i 2021 lavede seks uger sæt ind foran Christiansborg, fordi de troede, det var nemmere at få politikerne i tale. Det måtte de erkende, det desværre ikke var. Men øh, vi fortsætter kampen, og Mohammed Siad, værsgo. Det er dejligt at sige, Mane. Tak. Jeg vil uh, tale på engelsk, hvis det er okay, Emilia. I'm standing here today to send a message to all the politicians in Denmark who are misusing their power and popularity to spread fear, hate and discrimination. I'm sending this message to those who discriminate between white people and black people, between Middle, Middle Easterns, Africans and Europeans, who are using all sorts of racist words to, to describe a nation. Today, the humanitarian mask of Denmark has fallen down, and the real face of Denmark has been revealed. Today, Denmark has proven to everyone that the declaration of human rights only applies to white people. The Immigration Ministry of Denmark is willing to pay hundreds of thousands, even millions a year to ruin a refugee life by revoking their residency and sending them to live for unknown time in a deportation camp. And instead of letting them to live their life in peace and be part of this society. And the sad fact that they target a well-functioning families like Al Ahmad's family who work and study. Dear Denmark, The Syrians didn't flee their country for fun. They fled their country after they gave up on, on the world. After they had seen that they were left alone to fight against one of the most barbaric regime in the world. 11 years and the Syrians are still fighting for their freedom and their rights. 11 years and the world is still disappointing them. So please let those people who escape with their lives to seek a peaceful place. Let them dream about a bright future. Let them live for God's sake. That was my message to you. But before I end this speech, I want you to remember that the decision is in your hands. And you are the only one who can change this tragedy for the Syrians in Denmark. The parliament's election is soon, so please choose carefully who will represent you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed.